guys. Okay, I'm finally am getting around to reviewing the Five Below acrylic paints, the ones that came in these little jars. So what I did was there's glitter, there's metallic, and then there's just regular, which I think has mostly neons, but um, they weren't labeled or anything. So what I did is on the metallics, I just put M and then the number. So M1, two, three, four, I just numbered them so that it'd be easy to swatch. Glitters, same thing, but G1. And then the regulars have just numbers on them. So that would just be easier for me to be able to have something to swatch them by. So I think that I'm gonna do the regular ones first. So let me get that ready. So I, yeah, I'm probably just going to swatch these out. So this is red. This is just one of the regular ones. Um, I haven't tried them in like a book or anything. This is literally the first time I'm using them. So, oh, that's a nice red. They are opaque from what I can see, at least. This red is opaque. So, more power to you. But, um, so that was the red, which I labeled number one. They're not, um, if I did number, I'm just gonna... All right, number two is this blue. I have over to the side, I have my um, paint cup with the paint puck in it. Um, just so that I'm able to easily clean my brushes real fast. All right, we're going to do number two, which is this blue. Blue color. Um, okay. I am just getting them out the lid, really, guys, because it's, you know. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. Pretty, pretty blue. Okay, we like the blue. <laughs> okay, that's the number two that I used. Um, Like I said, I just, you know, put them. I didn't do, like, a specific order. I just literally picked them up and numbered the top of the jar. So, that's number two. Let me try and wash my brush off. Um, it takes me a minute to wash the acrylic paint from the brushes. It's a lot. Got to wash it a lot more than you do like the watercolors or anything. Your brush has to go through a little bit more. So number three is like a light blue. Light blue. So. Yeah. I may end up if this is getting, okay, this one's very, and I don't know if it's like I put too much water or what. This one seems like it's not as opaque. Yeah, it's, this one's definitely not. That's a very translucent color. So I'm going to um leave that for just a second. And then I was like, maybe I had too much water in my brush, but it's, no, it's just in light color. Okay, so that was the light blue one. So that one would be good for like a background or something. Um, so that's the number three. Number four is like this neon yellow. It's like highlighter yellow. So I'm gonna have to get make sure that my brush is really, really, really clean because it's a light color. All right, so let's see how opaque or not opaque this one is. This one's not opaque either, but I wasn't expecting it to be because it's a very light highlighter color. Um, I'm thinking maybe if I draw it, let these completely dry and then go back over them, that they might be a little bit um, more opaque. I don't know that for sure, but... <clears throat> right, and... So that was the fourth one. Like I said, no particular order. I just kind of, this is the black. So. All right, black. Let me make sure my brush is pretty dry. 
And the black is opaque. I did test the black because that was one thing that I was like, you know what, I want to see that. And it's definitely opaque black. So yay for the black. I'm going to have to clean out my paint cup after this, y'all. I don't want it to get all crusty, so I have to clean it out. All right, that's number five. That's the black, so that's nice, nice black. All right, so the sixth one is like a neon orange, neon orange. Um, again, quadruple. Wash this brush out because I just did black. I probably should have saved that one for the end, but it was what was labeled number five, so. All right, we have this neon orange. Let's check it out. Very translucent again, because these that are supposed to be very bright colors, I do think that they're all going to be kind of translucent. Um, even, yeah. So, which is fine. They will have their uses, you know. Okay, so that's number six. I don't know why I'm doing this with a Sharpie, because I can't use the back of the page now. But that's okay. Six. Seven is a bright, bright green, bright green. I don't know how good you guys can see the color of these. This one's going to also probably be translucent. Um, okay, um, let's see. Yep, but it's very bright green. Very, very bright. Like you can't probably can't even see that because it's so bright. But, okay, that's his number seven, bright green. All right, number eight is yellow. It should just be like a normal yellow is what it looks like, yellow. I'm like beating my brush in here. Okay. Number eight is yellow, yellow. Okay. And yeah, this is a opaque yellow. So the neon ones are the ones that are not opaque. So, um, but I guess I should have labeled them separately as neons, but they'll be okay. They're labeled, they're numbered. I'll be able to tell. All right, so we did that. That was number eight, which was just a classic yellow. All right, number nine, it looks like it's neon pink. Neon pink. Oh, I like that pink. Mm -mm, pink. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely neon pink. I actually really like this color pink, though. Even though it isn't um, opaque, I really like that color. So mine. I definitely like that color of pink that that is, for sure. So that's number nine. Number ten is another pink. It's like a pinky purple. This one might be, yeah, I think this is supposed to be like neon purple, I want to say. So that might be, um, it's probably also going to be translucent. Yeah, it's definitely translucent. <laughs> That's okay, though. It is, guys, it's really like okay because those, like I said, will be used for something different you know you never know I would use oh my gosh these that are kind of translucent like put the color hair that you want to use and then like go over it with one of these neons so that person can have neon highlights in their hair okay I'm not sure how these lids are supposed to go on but they don't go on evenly like I don't know okay so that is number 10 that is I would consider that neon purple because it's more purpley than I thought it was going to be this is green just like a dark green or this is honestly a medium I would say medium green because I don't think it's it doesn't look super dark and it doesn't look like grass green yeah well yeah it's, it's a pretty pretty green yeah medium green medium green definitely so number 11 all right so that was our classics there's a white but I'm not gonna test that white but those guys the classic colors are very opaque 
Your neon colors, not really. And they are, once they're dry, they're more opaque um, than, you know, obviously when they're wet. But pretty good. Hopefully you can see all those. All right, we're gonna do the um, glitters. Well, yeah, I think we're gonna do the glitter next. Um, all right, let me actually trim. Since I'm beating my brush up, it needs some of these extra hairs pulled off. Okay. Yeah, these are all, some of these brushes are super old, so if they need a trim. They need a trim. Okay, we're going to go through now and do, like I said, um, the glitters. So these are not going to be, I think that they're just more or less going to be something that you can use over because they're like a jelly consistency. It's super weird. So I'm thinking that these are like, yeah, they're all clear base really. And then it's just got the color glitter. So like this one is a purple, as you can see. So it's gonna be clear, but it's gonna have purple glitter. So it's not going to be like a paint color. You're just getting the clear glitter with the, um, or the clear like gel, I wanna say, with that color glitter in it. So that was the first one. The second one is silver. So this one should just give off silver glitter. Whereas that one was giving me purple glitter. This again, I have to, takes a second to wash off glitter from your brush. Um, but yeah, this one, okay, so yeah, you're getting the specs of clear glitter. Or no, silver glitter, sorry. Silver glitter. So that's the second one. I know these are going to be hard to see on camera, definitely. But they're fun. I mean, I feel like definitely if you wanted to put some glitter over something that you've already colored. You know, if you colored it, say you colored something um, purple, you know, and you wanted to put some glitter over it. These are definitely good for that, um, I would say. But as far as like, if you're wanting a paint color and a glitter, this is not it. Um, you may want to get your extreme glitter paints, um, which I also have, and I'm going to do a video on probably just at least the ones that I have. So that's your gold. That's nice. G3. And so anyway, yeah, just a thought guys. So these, like I said, they're not the most glittery thing, but you know, to put over things, I, I don't think that you can really, you know, they're already in the set. So why not? Um, okay. This is the red. Like I said, I don't know that you can see these. I really don't, but it's worth a test. Ooh, it works good if you dab like I just did on that rather than just painting it like a paintbrush, dab it on, you get more glitter out. So <laughs> learn something new from that. Okay, number five is blue. So you've got purple, silver, gold, red, blue, green. So you do have quite a few. Um, the blue. Yeah, so the blue. Um, yeah, all right. The blue is number five, and then the green. So, yes. So, these are fun, like I said, to put over stuff, but, you know, obviously, they're not the best glitter that you're going to get. Um, I can tell you that right now, but they're still enjoyable. Um, like I said, I will definitely use them to go over things with. Um, let's get some green on there green <laughs> and G6. That's your green. So bravo. I have a feeling that the glitter paints are going to like be the ones that are like the least, um, least favorite. <laughs> so, but I do think, like I said, the dabbing of it, when I dabbed it, like on the page, it worked a lot better than just, um, it normal so all right so we're gonna now we're gonna do the I will hold the glitters up close so you guys can I hope see them we're gonna do the metallic I don't know why I opened the sharpie I have to paint first so the first metallic I did was silver silver that's the one I labeled as number one 
Oh yeah, these look pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay, let's move my paint cup. Okay, well, I was expecting it to be more... Sorry, oh my gosh, my head was probably just all up in there. I was expecting that to be more... Um, I don't know. That's like not even showing anything. I don't know if it needs to be mixed or... Okay, we'll come back to that one. Once that spot of the paper's dry. I don't know what... That was supposed to be silver. Okay, we'll come back to it. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Let's try the second one, which is like a brown. This is like a brown color. There's gold also, but this is just the brown. Yeah, I think that these need to be pre-mixed. Okay, that one's working better. So, they're not super metallic-y, but I also think it's maybe because they're... I don't know, like I haven't, they need to be shaken or something. It just looks strange in the bottle, maybe. All right, I don't know, we'll go back to them. All right, let's try shake it before. Okay, that's the third one and it's a pretty like seafoam green color. Oh my gosh, yes. This is a pretty color. Okay, so you this is like a sea foam color that I'm getting in right now. Give me a minute, y'all. Okay. I probably don't need to be using the same brush <laughs> over and over, but it's fine. It is fine. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, that one's so pretty. Oof. This is a very light color. Um, like I said, I do think I'm, these are going to be ones that I'm probably going to layer. So that looks pretty though. I like the color. So that's the third metallic one. So third metallic. Now the fourth metallic is gold. It's the regular gold. So we're going to try that. And then, um, I'm sorry for the dogs barking. They just got back home from getting groomed. So they're going to bark and bark and bark. But, and then they're gonna yell. <laughs> My parents are. Um, okay, so, anyways, we have the, this is the gold. Okay, I really like that one. But, yeah, so, again, I am gonna try to layer these and see if it makes a difference. So, that's the fourth. Was the gold. Then the fifth one is blue. What? Okay, that didn't push down like I wanted. Sorry for the noise, guys. All right, uh, five is blue. Five is blue. So it's a pretty, pretty true blue. Um, yeah, true blue. True blue. That one's pretty. True blue. And five. And for metallic. And then we have one more of these metallics, which is number six. And it's like a pinky, pinky color. It's definitely pink. It's not red. Yeah, it's just pink. All right, so pink. Let's get the pink. That's an okay one. Now I'm gonna try to sh um, shake that silver up and layer it and see what happens because that was the first color we did. So I'm gonna try to layer it. Layer. So I'm gonna try, let me actually relabel this first. All right, M6. So let's layer up the silver again and see what happens. Uh, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this because, okay, it makes no difference when you layer it, so, but yeah. All right, well, I hope that you guys, whoops, enjoyed this. Definitely worth the $5 for these paints. I might have to pick up the watercolors if I can the next time. So all of those classic colors are good. 
The metallics are pretty good. They're not super, super metallic, but if you need a little sheen, they're good. The glitters, you put them over things. That would be good. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm glad I could finally get to it and I'll see you guys next time.